Plant Finder touchscreen kiosk from Joy of Plants and Review Systems Digital Signage is the modern solution for first-class customer support in your plant area. Hello, I'm Terry Jones, Managing Director of Joy of Plants. We've been working with leading garden centres and plant retailers since 2011, supplying plant information services to help them sell more plants. In this video, I'm going to tell you about our Plant Finder touchscreen kiosk. For plant retailers who want to provide first-class customer and staff support in their plant areas, it provides the modern retail solution. It adds a plant expert to your team. It gives you a simple way to solve the customer's biggest issue, choosing the right plants for their gardens from those you sell, and inspiring them to buy more plants. You can also use it for staff training and in-store information. The Plant Finder includes more than 14,900 UK plants from our industry-leading library. In this video, we'll cover the benefits of the Plant Finder touchscreen kiosk, how to use the Plant Finder, introducing customers to the kiosk, garden centre info that can be displayed when the Plant Finder is not in use, how to look after kiosks, and contact details in case you need support. First, we'll look at the benefits to your plant team. The kiosk is like a new team assistant for your plant area, a plant expert who's there all the time, who knows all about the plants you sell and other plants too. It has details of more than 14,900 UK plants. If you don't know the answer to a customer question, it provides answers more quickly than you can look them up by googling online or researching in a book or searching for another staff member who might know. It helps you show customers a range of alternative plants to meet their needs so you can help them choose the one that's right for them. And by looking through various options, the customer might also be inspired to buy more plants. For lots of reasons, customers may prefer to see the range of options in one place without having to walk the whole plant area. It helps you sell plants more easily because of the beautiful images it shows of the plants. The photos show plants during their main season of interest. Kiosks can also provide a self-service information point for customers who prefer this. If your kiosk includes the care product upgrade, it also shows care products that can be used to be more successful at growing the plants, prompting the customer to buy them and increasing your cross sales. We've been working with many of the top garden centres and nurseries since 2011, and we've installed plant finder kiosks all over the country, from Aberdeen in Scotland to the Isle of Wight. Let's take a tour of the plant finder to learn how to use it. To start the plant finder on a real touch screen, just tap on the plant finder button at the bottom of the touch screen. To look at an online version like the one we're looking at here, go to jobdemo.kiosk.joyofplants.com in your browser. The Plant Finder uses your company branding, the same fonts and colour scheme as your website. It contains more than 14,900 UK plants and is personalised to show the plants you sell. In this training, we're going to take a detailed look at the three different ways to find plants for a customer from the Plant Finder home screen. Browse plants by groups to look at plants like they would when browsing the plant displays. Find by name to look up a botanical or common name that they know, or find by criteria to look up plants to meet their specific needs. First, browsing the plant groups. We've set up groups on the home page for the most popular kinds of plants that you sell. When you look through, you'll see many groups have subgroups. Some groups are subdivided by colour, like the spring flowering climbers. Each plant page includes images, information about what the plant looks like, where it is suitable to plant, and season by season plant care that includes watering, feeding, deadheading and pruning. If your company has the care product upgrade enabled, you will also see recommendations of care products suitable for each plant to remind you to make that cross sale. If your company has uploaded availability info for plants, you will also see details of availability.
Navigate between plants with the little arrow buttons in the top right corner and between plants and groups and subgroups with the navigation buttons at the top. Go back to the home page with the plant finder button. Other groups, like the roses, are subdivided by type. The clematis and camellia groups have subgroups for different seasons for flowering. Some groups are especially useful for new gardeners. Easy care plants, which are easy to grow and don't need much attention. And wildlife plants for attracting bees, birds and butterflies. And plants that cope with rabbits and deer. If I choose bees, you'll see we have subgroups for the different seasons, which might help customers buy plants to feed the bees all year round. Some groups are especially useful for those with small gardens. Plants for pots and patios. Trees for small gardens. And evergreens for year-round interest. If you're looking at the plant finder online, you'll need to scroll to the bottom to see all the groups. And there is more than one page of groups on the real kiosk too. Click the arrow at the bottom to go to the second page. Click back to top to go back to page one. We'll now look at finding plants by name. Use find by name if the customer is looking for a specific plant. You can type in any part of the name they know and it auto matches the plants as you type. People are often confused by plant names and might get botanical and common names jumbled up, so it's best to search for a part of the cultivar name that they know. In the list of results, the first plant name in bold is the botanical name, for example, Malus domestica fiesta. Any also name in a fainter type, e.g. Malus domestica red pippin, is another name the plant is known by. And the bold grey name is the common name, for example Apple Fiesta. The results list also shows other useful information about each plant. The coloured tick shows you sell the plant. The height and spread of the plant is shown on the right hand side. And if your company has uploaded availability info for plants, you will also see details of availability, like we have here. A very important point is this. The results list always displays two lists of plants. The list on the left may have the text plants we stock or our plant range, depending on the wording that your company wanted when we set up your plant finder. Here we have plants we stock. The plants we stock list shows the plants you sell and you will usually stay in this list. The plants we stock list can be updated when your stock list changes by a staff member who has access to the hub.joyofplants.com admin site. Tap on the encyclopedia button to see the other list. This shows all the plants in the library. The ones you sell have a coloured tick. Sometimes a customer may ask about a plant that you don't sell and you may find that plant in the encyclopedia list. You can clear a typed name by tapping the little X, then type a new name. If you get a long list of results, there are a couple of things you can do. You can use the ABC bar at the side to skip to plants that begin with a particular letter. Or you can use the options on the sort by drop down to sort the list by colours, plant types and so on. If the customer doesn't know what to choose, but has an idea of the purpose, the place and the kind of plant they like, use Find by Criteria. Even a tough example, for instance a customer might ask for a plant for a partly shady site that can be grown to cover a wall and has scented flowers that are attractive to bees, you can search for all these needs together. 
First use the planting site tab to select part shade. While you're on this page you might also ask about their soil type if they know. Maybe clay? Another useful thing to ask is, do small children and pets use the garden? If so, you might want to set hazardous plants to exclude thorny or toxic plants. On the plant uses tab, select wall cover. They may or may not know the orientation of their wall. And select bees for wildlife attraction. On the type colour scent tab, select yes for scented. By searching for the criteria in this order, with looking at planting site details first, then purpose, then finally colours and sizes, you'll be teaching customers how to think about finding the right plants for their gardens. Tap find at the bottom to find the results. There are a lot of plants that meet these needs. To refine the list further, you might add the criteria for the RHS AGM. These are plants recommended by the RHS and are tried and tested and good to recommend to new gardeners. Then you can open a plant and read the descriptions, clicking the arrows to move between them. As you look through the plants, the customer may spot the one they want straight away. Or you can save several to review by tapping on the Add to My Plants option. If the My Plants list has plants on it from a previous search, you can tap the Clear option to remove them first. Then, when you've finished looking through the plants, you can go back to the home screen by tapping on Plant Finder and tap My Plants to look at the short list of plants you've saved so the customer can make their final choice. When you get the chance, have a play with the Find Pie Criteria page to familiarise yourself with which tabs contain which criteria. After a little bit of practice, I'm sure you'll feel confident in using it. There are lots of situations where you might take the customer to the Plant Finder touchscreen kiosk to help them. When there are lots of plants that might meet the customer's needs and it's good to show them the options. When you aren't sure you sell a particular plant. When a particular plant is not available and you need to find an alternative with similar attributes that is available. When you aren't sure about a particular attribute of a plant they ask about. For example, is this plant good in clay soil? Or if you don't recognise the name of the plant the customer asked for. After using the kiosk, please remember to comment. We always use hand sanitizer after touching the kiosk, just to be safe. And if you bring a customer to the kiosk to help answer their question, you teach them how to use it in future by using it with them. The other role of the kiosk is to display garden centre information. When the plant finder is not in use, the kiosk automatically displays playlists of your own garden centre information. Customers can look at your company info, offers, events and other notices uploaded to the kiosk. If your kiosk is supported by advertising, it also shows adverts by sponsors and local businesses that have been approved for your business. Note that in this case you might get one or two advertisers coming into the store to check their advert is being shown, so be prepared for this and please always be polite after all, the advertisers are paying for your kiosk. If there's something you think should be displayed on the kiosk that isn't, please get in touch with the marketing team, who will be very happy to hear your ideas. The touchscreen kiosk hardware is very robust and the kiosk doesn't need much looking after. There are just a few things to be aware of. When you switch the kiosk on from the plug, it boots up automatically and it safely closes down when you flick the power switch off so it's okay to leave it plugged in all the time, so it turns on and off with the store's timed power switch. Like all hard surfaces that customers and staff touch, it needs to be cleaned every day with diluted bleach or isopropyl alcohol. We provide a crib sheet with details of what to do. Please make it part of the plant area cleaning routine. The content of the plant finder, which plants you sell and groups on the homepage, can be changed by the marketing team who have access to the online admin tools. They can also change the company info. 
there's no need for you to make adjustments. The position of the kiosk units in your store will have been carefully chosen by those responsible for their installation, normally the garden centre and plant area managers and the marketing team, so please don't move them without their permission. If they agree, you can relocate a unit, but be careful as they're very heavy. Wherever you move them to, they need to be in range of the Wi-Fi, be undercover and be in a position that's visible and where they can be easily used without obstruction. Take care when watering plants close to the kiosks. Don't water the kiosks along with the plants. And also make sure not to put things in the way of the kiosk. Keep it free of obstructions so that customers and other staff can easily use it. If you ever have any problems and need help with the Plant Finder touchscreen kiosk, please inform your plant area manager of the problem and contact us straight away. We'll respond quickly. You can email us if you need help. Please include a direct dial phone number in your email and we will call you back. For the Plant Finder, email support at joyofplants.com For the kiosk hardware, email support at digitalsignage.net And if you need to call the engineer to come and fix the kiosk, call 01772 875536. You should probably check with your manager before making that phone call. You've reached the end of our video now. Thanks for watching. I'm really excited that our kiosks are helping your team sell more plants to more happy customers. Every customer who finds the right plant and succeeds in growing it will come back to buy more. And that's what we're all working towards, filling the world with the joy of plants. Watch more videos in our series by clicking the link or subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our videos.